Okay, part three of the RCA KCS-118A. We're about to put this back in the cabinet. Earlier we did. However, we have another problem. I'll explain. This may have been the source of the whole issue with this set. Put it all back together, button it up carefully, clean the glass, turn it on, wait for the thermal switch, zap, bang, nothing. Something's wrong. No sound, no anything. Turn it off, take it apart, look around, see what, everything's correct, fine. Put it back on, move the yoke a little bit, turn it on, bang, zzz, arc, sparks, ozone, you name it, it's going crazy. So it's like, what now? Well, I'll show you. Okay, I'll just set the camera down. I'm going to take the face off carefully with the glass. I'm going to show you what's been happening. Let me set this glass down. Okay, I'm going to turn the set on slowly so you can see what I'm talking about. So I wanted to watch this set tonight. And I'm running out of time and I haven't decided what I want to do yet. Okay, so it's on. Tubes are lit. We're out of battery. Oh, it doesn't get any better, does it? Okay, I've attached a USB to the camera so I can get through this process because I want to show you what I'm talking about. The um, We'll remove this in a second. This is what holds the CRT bezel yoke assembly as one in the chassis. I've turned it on and I should be able to um, Turn the signal on here. Okay, I can't put all the... I can't put the yoke up to the screen. I'll tell you why. If I put the yoke... This is our parts yoke. If I put the yoke up to the screen... I'm going to show you. I may put the I may put the spare yoke from the KCS 121 in, but it's it's crumbling and the, and the rings are off here. If I go any closer to the CRT with this, that's when the fireworks begin. So I'm leave, I'm going to power it off and I'm going to show you what the defect is. Okay, I'm going to unplug the yoke. I have to service this yoke. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I take the set apart. I look at everything. Everything looks fine. I put the set in the cabinet and the fireworks begin. It was sparking, arcing. Oh. <laughs> I've got to be careful because that key is broken on that too. I'm going to mend that. I don't want to break it, but it's. When you take this stuff apart, the more it suffers. So you. So in here is the ground spring for the CRT. It's right there. And if you look closely, you can even see right there on the spring, right here. I don't know. It looks like some discoloration. This is ground. It's grounding the aquadag of the CRT. I'm going to have to come up with a different method for that. Because what they do is the yoke goes right up against that. I don't know if that's factory or if this is right. This is the way I got it. Maybe it should be flipped around and go the other way. Because with that yoke pressed against that, this is what, this is what happened. Not to me. It must have been this way for some time. You have to look closely here. The yoke is arcing to the ground. I have to look under magnification because it's right around. <laughs> Let me get back to this. Let me look, find it so I can show you. Okay, the side of the yoke that comes in contact or close proximity to that ground right here. 
right there. Copper and black, it's, it's sparking and arcing. See if I can magnify that for you, but um, yeah, that's got to be fixed. What I'm thinking of doing copper, bare copper. What I'm thinking of doing is um, I think I've got the GE clear silicone. Okay, and I'm going to probably dry clean this, get that carbon. You can't have any traces of carbon right here. Clean that, dry clean, and I'll put a dab there maybe before showtime, an hour. I'm not sure, or I may just put the, um, the yoke from the KCS-121 in there for now. But I have to do something about this ground that can't, this has got to go. So I was thinking and thinking and I found this, I think this was a, a security monitor or something, but it has a, a band like this. I'm going to probably borrow this, something like this, to ground that, that tube instead of that, that, that setup over there. So basically I don't want any chemicals, I don't want any water, I don't want anything near here. I took the pencil eraser and I've gone across that to clean that. That's bare copper. And that, that is goes rubbing right against that ground. Woods, bang, zoom, sparks, white flashes, you name it, boy. Um, so I'm going to take some silicone next and, and dab that and do something about the ground. Okay, so the tube just lifts out of the bezel and they give you enough high voltage lead to place the tube face down. Yeah, some of the aqueduct is scraping off. Um, I don't know what they were thinking over here with this. Um, I did put a safety cap here in place of that bumblebee. But uh, any event, I don't know what I can do. To, I've got to get it away from the yoke. It has to maybe go up here. Short term, I don't know what I'm going to do. Of course, I have other components to worry about. I don't know where I'm going to stick this thing, but I've got to stick it someplace else. I don't know if this is factory or not where this is. I know this is factory, but where it's placed, is that correct? I'm going to have to try and find a better spot. Okay, it was at the bottom of the tuner mount here. I've moved it to the top of the tuner mount, and hopefully in its path here it won't won't run into anything like the thermo switch here. It seems to clear most everything and that's grounded anyway. Um, scary business here, but we're gonna try it. Uh, I may put a piece of wax paper on that silicone so it'll, and put the yolk in and you know, give it a try. Okay, I'm not sure if you can even see that in there, but that, that wire is coming in contact with some of the two, of course, over the label, a portion of the label too there, but um, it is grounding to the tube and hopefully nothing else. Okay, another trick I've learned, if this hasn't quite cured yet, this one here, what I'll do is I'll just put a little piece of wax paper like that. Uh, electrical tape shoot right, shot right through that. that the silicone, this is the way it's going to go in. Okay, my wax paper is still attached up there. And I have my top of the yoke marked, so I'm just going to have it plugged in. I'm just going to feed it in. I'm going to put it up against the tube. I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to well, get it centered. I hope that's... Oh, that's top dead center there. Okay, we'll adjust it after that sets. But let's plug it in and try it. Okay, if everyone's good, we'll go ahead and apply the front mask. Uh, turn this on. Get rid of 
already on the plug. I don't know why we're snowy here, but the camera's blanking that, but... Okay, let's check some things out here. See why I'm a little snowy. Okay, just placement of the coax uh, feeding the 300 ohm, just the placement of it affects the, the snow. Uh, that's crystal clear. You see some herringbone and the camera blanking, but... Let's go ahead and adjust the vertical height. I think we've got the yoke pretty straight though. Alright. This is the first time this has been in this set. I don't know which is which here. I think this is the vertical lin. Let's do... I'm pretty pleased with it just the way it is, but let's get it. Let's get the height. See, I don't know who's who here. Let me do this off camera and see how I, how good I get. The whole thing was a fraud, and it doesn't work. But when we get rid of those lines, you have competition, and we will be able to keep pre-existing. We'll also be able to help people that can't get, don't have money, because we are going to have people protected. And Republicans feel this way, believe it or not, and strongly this way, we're going to block grant into the states. We're going to block grant into Medi Medicaid into Thank the you, states Trump. so that we will be able to take care of people without the necessary funds to take care of the country better. And I was proud of that. Give you a minute. Okay, we the yoke seems nation. to be holding, so we'll we call this a wrap on the RCA 17-inch. You, you look at the violence that's taking place in the inner cities, Chicago. You take a cross. Get it across with a little joke. Now, I put in a little joke that I made up myself, and I think it's pretty good. Right in the middle of my speech, I'm going to say, uh, gentlemen, looking out over this audience and seeing all of you fellas dressed up in your raccoon uniforms, I would like to say that you remind me of the olden days and the times of the nights of the round table. See how that, I get in there without anybody knowing I'm starting to tell a joke with the uniforms, the connection? All right, now, I go on. And I say, uh, yes, sir, the nights of the round table. Which reminds me of a very funny joke that I heard one time about the Knights at the Round Table. It seems that, uh, uh, well, uh, Sir Launcelot, uh, goes to King Arthur one night and he says, uh, I hear that you call for me. And, uh, Sir Arthur says, uh, King Arthur says to Sir Launcelot, yes, I call for you. He says, I want you to go on a, a message, um, uh, uh, what's another word for message? Uh, uh, a trip for me. I want you to go on a trip for me. And he says, uh, all right, yes, sir. And he says, go out and get your horse. And he says, must I go now, King? And he says, yes, why not? He says, well, because it's snowing and raining and thunder and lightning and everything. He says, however, you got to go take the strip, so get the horse. Well, so Lancelot goes outside, and he goes into the stable, and there's no horses in there. But there is a great big great thing. So he comes back into the uh, castle, and he says, uh, Sir Launcelot, I mean King Arthur, Sir Launcelot reporting. There are no horses in the stable. He says, but if you, if it is a very important trip that you wish me to go on, I will saddle a great dame and I will go on the door to wherever you're going to send me. Now get ready. Here it comes. King Arthur says, that won't be necessary, Sir Launcelot. I wouldn't send a knight out on a dog like this. I'm going
Jones. Right on the dog, Alice. Why, Erica, I don't think it's funny. How could I marry a girl that had no sense of humor? Hey. Engagement's up here pretty soon. I think I'll be going to a club in Miami. Miami, Florida. Darling, why don't you come with me? Oh, we'd have a wonderful time, just the two of us. And if you don't want me to bother with that old club job, I'll turn it down. Hello. Mind if I sit down? Of course not. 